Today we have something new to unbox. I think you know where it's from. So what will it be? Well, you already know you read <laughs> you read the uh, title. It's a Behringer RD8. But what do we open it with? I thought of something dumb we can do. We're gonna do spin the bottle. We have a sword, a pen, a plastic knife, some um, cutters, clippers, whatever, a broken pair of scissors, and a flathead screwdriver. This is our bottle we will be spinning today. No affiliation with this company. But anyways, let's spin the bottle. It's probably only gonna spin a couple times. Okay, let's try this. Okay, it went, okay, so it goes. I'm saying that's the pin. All right. That's kind of wishy-washy. We're gonna do this until one of these items gets picked twice. All right, let's try that. Oh, the sword got picked once. Let's do it again. Up, oh, the pliers got picked. Oh, the pliers won. Pliers it is. All right, let's open this up. It's gonna be pretty dumb, but let's do it. Wee! Yeah, that was unneeded. I know. Okay, I know. I'm doing this with one hand, don't blame me. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna have to set this down for one second. Here, you can look at my ugly mug while I struggle. I dressed up as a redneck for this reveal, or this uh, unboxing, I don't know why I did, I just did, so let's do this. This ugly redneck. All right, so anyways, cut around the sides with our pliers. I need two hands for this, that's why I have to set that camera down. Alright. Bing. This is a pretty big box, I would say. It opens kind of weirdly. Oh, it's upside down. We gotta send it back. Sorry, guys. No, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> so we got some good insulation here. I always love to save this stuff and reuse it when I ship. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for this. You helped me earn a living. Thank you. All right. We got a happy new gear from Sweet Walter. We got a sweet wall a sticker. <coughs> Maybe I should add this to my uh, EX5 that I'm like sticker bombing. It was already sticker bombed when I bought it, so I said I'll just add to it. <laughs> so I'll add that sticker to it. This is the order form. Yeah. Whatever. Rhythm Designer RD8. Oh no! The people probably saw where I lived on that paper. It doesn't matter. I, I sell stuff online anyways. People are bound to know where I live. It's not like I have anything really worth stealing anyways. We got two bags of candy. Alright. Okay. I'm pretty... I don't know if I can still eat fireballs. But if I can, those were my favorite. Behringer RD8. Radiate. If it had the A there, ah, never mind. Yeah, if you get that joke, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Okay, I like that this is packed well. I wish more people would pack stuff that good. Okay, they included a free um, copy of their Winter 2020. I'm. I think I've already got a copy of their Winter 2020. I might not have. I'm not sure. Let's see if there's anything weird in here. Pianos, arrangers, boring, keyboards and synths, doo -doo 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 -doo. anything interesting. 
But we're going to see the same old, same old in here. Hydrosynth, pretty new. Kurzweil, PC4, do, 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 do. Ah, yeah, there's no subsequent subsequent 25 in here. Sorry, folks. That might have been fake. <laughs> yep, that's not in here. Uh, yeah. What surprises me is, um... Surprises me that the Rev 2 got such a big spot. Interesting. Summit, blah, 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 innovation base station. I still feel dumb. There's someone had a base station locally for 200 bucks, and I missed the opportunity to buy that. I should have got that. We got our Neutron 101s. VC 340. <coughs> now, this, this is interesting. Look at this. Okay, you see this deep mind right here? Look at this price. Now, I want you to go to Sweetwater and look at the price they have listed there. This is a better price. So I'm wondering if you could show show them this price. I wonder if you could actually get this price still on a new one. Because it's it's much more expensive on the website. Get our Kyra, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're probably not interested in this. Let's, let's just be done. Uh, Dreadbox Airbus. Three. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's good enough. Win wish list giveaway. Rhythm Designer RD8. All right, hold on a second. Let's get this onto a tray. No. <laughs> nice. No. Another dumb reference. So there's no tape on these parts, which honestly there doesn't need to be. But you never know. This could have been opened previously. I wonder what it could be. Sorry if I sound kind of weird. I'm just getting over being sick. Like I had a video planned for Christmas. <coughs> I was just too sick to make it, but I might upload it. It's a, it's a dumb kind of Christmas scent modification I made, but it, it's kind of dumb and pointless, but I might make a video of it anyways. All right, so here we go. Look at this. Another odd thing is, probably don't care about this, but sometimes they use this, I don't know, semi-transparent plastic, and sometimes they use fully transparent plastic. I don't know why or what's the point of using different ones, but yeah. Inter uninteresting, un un pointless fact. Another weird thing I've noticed is every Behringer product I've ever bought came with a different brand of power supply. I'm curious if Behringer actually makes their own or if they would ever make their own. Because it makes it makes sense with all that they make that they should make their own power supply as well. I think that would add to the um it would make Behringer look more professional if they did make their own power supply. Alright. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna cheat and use scissors. We gotta use these pliers the whole time because they won. Obviously, our <laughs> this is so horrible. I'm wearing an oversized shirt because I just do not care right now. All right, let's see what brand power supply we got. Okay, we got the um. Okay, this is the same brand that came with their. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. I want to say that's the same one that came with the. One of them, but I don't know. So we got our plug. <laughs> I guess they use the same plug and just send whatever country you're in a different adapter. Now I'm not going to be demoing this in this video, so if you want to see that, just wait until later. Just F Y I, F F Y I. But I will plug it in just to make sure it works. At least. And we gotta do another sit down while I open this. 
All right, I have another unflattering top or bottom down view of my hideous face. It's so hard. This actually looks pretty nice. The only thing I can say, it looks a lot different in person than it did in the photos. The knobs look bigger in person than they do in the photos. Here, look. Here we go. Cool, we got everything. Save, copy, erase. And then when you need to take a shit, you can click dump and it'll pause everything while you go take a shit. And then just click it again and then it's unpaused. I love that setting. It's very useful. Um, yeah. <laughs> kind of cheeky how they did the button arrangement here. Nice click. Reminds me of, um, old mouse clicking action. But heftier. Knobs pr feel pretty solid. Okay, so this is an endless encoder. All right, these knobs are very uh, stiff. No, actually, not stiff. More like um, you know, some knobs feel like you're just moving them through air. These feel like you're moving them like through Jello. Like there's a thickness to the movement feel. They all feel pretty nice. Let's fill these knobs. These knobs too, there's a real thickness to these feel. I mean, to these feel. To the feel of these knobs. Because some knobs, they just go... Ch -ch 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 -ch, like rotary encoders do. These have a very, I guess, for lack of a better term, resistive movement. So you won't accidentally dial in too much. But you might have to be more forceful with it to get quick tweaks. You might tear out your fingers, maybe. The knobs do look pretty cool, though. I actually like it. This part is um, sunken in. It's not actually raised up, so, which is good for people who um, grab it at the tops because you might be able to tweak it like this a little bit if you're one of those kind of weirdos. So we got everything we need here. Now, I have a question for you people. Why are the first two letters in some of these... Um, Capitalize like accent and claps and maracas and like in hand C and P. Is this like what does that mean? Why are there some capitalizing weird? Was it like that on the original? Let me know. See, this looks pretty cool. <coughs> now we must plug it in, plug it in to see if it works. Hold on a second. Let's see. Ooh. I need to show you all the back side real quick. Okay. You know, we got all the plugs that we expected. You've, you've seen videos of this. You know what to expect back here. But it's so refreshing seeing individual outs. It's so beautiful. Analog drum machines should have individual outs or drum machines that are set up in similar fashion to this even if they are all digital they sh what I call I guess tracked drum machines where there's channel or channeled where there's different channels they sh each one of those channels should have their own output a lot of people don't do that anymore I don't know why but ah uh, I get it now this is what the um why some have double caps, I guess. But yeah. So some share. We knew that already. Trigger outs. We got clock. Our main outs. Monophones and return. Alright, so we've seen enough here. <coughs> Let's see. Odd. When was this made? Designed and engineered in the UK, made in China, as we expected. Yep, okay. It, 
a cool thing about this is I like the weight. It doesn't feel too heavy and it doesn't feel too light. It's the perfect weight for what it is. I've never actually held an OG, but I'm pretty sure this weighs much, much, much less. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, you probably didn't, but I hope you might have. I don't know. I don't really do unboxing videos, but I thought, eh, what the heck. Why not? I was curious how this thing would actually appear in the flesh. So let's just plug it in and just make sure it works. Or at least it lights up, right? I'll do some kind of a demo with it later. Right. Boop. Alright. Let's grab our power supply. So cringy. Now this is a little bit off topic, but have you people noticed that if you use certain tags in your videos, YouTube will actually hide them. Even if you're just making an uh, instrument video with no other kind of implications, certain words will trigger them to not push your video at all. So be wary of that. I'm pretty sure one of those words is vote because every time I've noticed that I've used vote in a video has caused it not to get any um, it's not getting pushed by YouTube at all because we're rude so we gotta do this video quickly so I can answer that back all right here we go the first power on let's do this And, ooh, well, it appears that it works, but does it really work? <coughs> All right, well, we're going to test this out later, guys. Maybe make a dumb little track with it and upload that sometime. Now, a lot of people only use the um, individual, I mean, the, you know, the main out. I'm going to try to use all the individual outs and show you the usefulness of that, maybe adding different effects to the individual channels because that'll be cool. That's that's the point of the individual outs, to actually <laughs> affect the sounds individually, externally. Thank you for watching and hold on a second. Come here. Chico. Let's see if he comes here. Come here, Chico. This is the techno dog. You gotta watch out for him. This guy's crazy. Chico, chico, chico. All right. Well, see y'all next time.